What's up guys? This is the Riverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal and in this episode we are attacking the Russian spearhead that's driven into Western Europe. And we're going to destroy the garrison at Hanover, take it over and then maybe use it as a base of operations to drive eastward ourselves. But first we have to take Hanover, so let's do it. So I fought this battle a few times because I've been fiddling with my Empire Total War settings after... No, no, Empire Total War settings. My Darth mod settings after I've reinstalled everything. And, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of an iterative process. Trying... <laughs> I know, I thought I've changed everything. Oh no, I forgot about this. Start up again. Oh no, I forgot this. Start up again. Oh no, I forgot this. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's been a bit... Been a bit repetitive, and I'm definitely keen to break through this battle. But as we saw, the garrison is weak, so it's not as if it's a. It's not as if it's, not as if it's a tricky battle to fight. We're going to put three units of infantry over each breach, then everyone else. It's going to flank around, and these guys are going to wait for their gorillas to show up. So you men are going to attack the breach and get to it. Carabiner are going to wait for the gorillas to show up because they always do. Yeah, there they go. I think they must run them out to deploy stakes, but I've never really let them have a chance to do it. my carabiners forward and there we go there they are they were placing stakes so then this flanking force here is going to walk over here speed up time because again I am just trying to you know, I need to break through this battle and get playing But it looks like everything's okay. Ninety-two percent. Soon they'll be done. Then I'll get to work on the other section of the wall. There we go. So let's give them an order to attack this breach. At the same time, these infantrymen can advance through at speed while they reload and pivot. Excellent. My grenadiers get up on the wall. Let's put my carabiner up there as well. Let's put another unit of grenadiers up there. Let's put a unit of fusiliers up onto that defensive, onto that fortification there. I shot my other infantry towards the gate. Push all my cavalry around. Come on men, engage. Imagine being this guy like, you, you, you have turned it enough right? Sure. Looks like they are, they do want to bayonet charge us. It's time to engage us. Yeah, I want my skirmishes up on the wall here, and then my gorillas on either side. My grenadiers on either side. Because that was the intention, looks like that's not going to happen. So these grenadiers are going to have to run over this way. Because they're, they're meant, my grenadiers are meant to f spar with the Russian infantry. This light infantry unit forms square. So 
Let's make sure my gorillas are running out of the way. Do I want my grenadiers to go? Grenadier is engaged the 20th. My gorillas at least are going to be protected somewhat when this section of the wall collapses. Excellent. Fusiliers are climbing up. Maybe horse grenadier guards are in trouble. Alright, let's push you guys forward. section of the walls going down. There you go. They've got two units of grenadiers though to fight, so I don't think this in this infantry unit's gonna hold. I want these fusiliers really I want these fusiliers to storm across the gate. They may some of them may run over here. I know they appear to have worked it out. Indeed, I want you guys. You may have to get a bit close, sir. I want you to fire down onto the 20th. And again, you may get stuck because what they like to do is shoot along the wall into troops that are up high. And again, my carabiner can skirmish with the horse grenadier guards, but we will we will take this take the gates. Charging in. There's three men left. And they're not charging in, but they they want to uh, they want to recombine their forces. The you men push through. Push all my cavalry through. I mean, they're going to they're going to buy a lot of time for their the rest of the fort <laughs> because one infantry unit is going to bog this all down quite nicely. Same with this cavalry, actually, they're going to bog it all down. These fusiliers keep on climbing up. You guys are not going to do your stuff. The wall is down here, so these three units are going to storm through the breach. And then immediately redeploying the 7th Grenadier Guards to try and stop this from happening. Okay, so some of the infantry's pushed through. Oh, my, oh because my Grenadiers stopped attacking them. That's ideal. Keep attacking them. Hey, are oh, the engineers have deployed? Ultimate on two infantry units just to push through. Try and get as much space as we can before we engage. These guys have been forced to charge out. I mean, who are you being attacked by? Well, that's a lot of dead... A lot of dead Portuguese, but I'm not quite sure where you're getting shot from, unless it's someone up here. I mean, horse grenade guards will bog things down quite a lot in the gatehouse. Skirmishes get into the barracks. Everyone else get off the walls. Here comes some grenadiers. South the Nars 
the uh, 15th Regiment of Foot that's left, so we're going to bombard them with artillery fire. They do not have advanced musket drills, and they are broken because they're fighting outside the walls. So run in, guns cease fire. Cavalry engage the cavalry. Infantry advance up towards the Cossacks. Everyone that can just run past them, run past them. Now, we may get some of our men intercepted by the line infantry, but the bulk of my forces will storm through. Yes, that's right, man the walls. So the 6th Regiment, engage. The 1st and the 7th, push through. Regiment of Horse, engage the Cossacks. Guerrillas get into the command HQ. Brave but futile. caught up in the fight against the Cossacks. But they should, as time goes on, get past this. Oh, new men run into position. They aren't ready to... They aren't ready to uh, handle our musketry. Step onto the central square. My mercenaries have all fired. Everyone else is getting into position. I mean, I think once we break this unit of Cossack infantry, let's see if we can lob shells over the walls. Fire! Even though, even though I've re-downloaded and reinstalled everything, sound doesn't work. I wonder if this, this game is just decaying. It never used to be like this. But we're, long, we're cutting them down. Yeah, they're suddenly charging the militia off the walls. Going, Wait a minute, this is really bad, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. You men get over here to help fight over here. So why do you not want to shoot? Is someone are you stuck somewhere? Doesn't look like it. The attack ground has gone quite well. Bombardment again, we're getting a lot of shells. Smashing to the ground nearby. Usually the wrong unit to send, but you know what? It's just just smash through. It's 40 seconds left. To be honest, I might just uh, speed up time a little bit. We can, we can get a nice job, guys. We just ran straight into the bottom of that bastion. And suddenly they realised, wait a minute, this isn't where we want to go. But there we go. <laughs> What? That's that done. Done, done, done. Finito. Can't repair the royal palace, but I can try and replenish as much of my army as I possibly can. And that's not all of it, but most of it. So my agents, you get on to Warsaw. You get on to Königsberg. You can go into Gdansk, and then you can go into Berlin. Because they're very unhappy Berlin, they're very unhappy in Saxony. Ah, missed their chances across the board. But at least Hanover is ours. That does mean that we've got what we've got uh, the Dutch somewhat encircled. Um, but that's okay. Elsewhere, everyone else is steamboating back to 
the east coast, or they are pushing up Santa Fe. Yeah, you need to wait a bit before you're able to leave. Where's my... So agents, priests in the Americas. Charleston's still converting, because you've got, you got a lot of the east coast to deal with. Um... Yeah, how are you doing at York Factory? Okay, you're doing good, so we can start taxing them because getting Churchill to develop isn't as important now. You can push town towards Yankton to begin trying to convert the Plains Nations peoples before we show up. This will eventually be an entirely Catholic continent. Good stuff, and our agent is going to join the army in their passage north. Nice. Right, let's hit N10. So yeah, there's lots of the armies that had movement left are pushing up towards Pennsylvania, because I'm not in a massive rush to get more armies into Europe just yet. I'm mainly focusing on developing my income. Here comes the Spanish Navy, which we, uh, can't, can't allow them to keep doing that, because that's mighty frustrating. Tempering our growth. And they don't want to give us Oh actually they still own a uh army they still own a region in the Americas, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna auto resolve that. <laughs> yeah, Russia is quite uh powerful still in Central Europe, so you've got to be a bit careful about what we do. But I think I'm gonna end up just uh, replenishing and then slowly advance but the main thing is that it's, it's a bit iffy because i'm creating a long border with austria i don't like that so much if i push through push through russia that is but i think if i take kiev and the crimea then i think well i'll be bottling up austria and they will have fewer options to expand and that will eventually mean we will be drawn into conflict But I would have the firepower of an entire continent behind me, so I shouldn't really be overly concerned. Everyone pushing on. Do you know it's being taken? Colin wants peace, which they're not going to get it. No. They are not going to get it, sir. Okay, 92,000, we can do a lot of that. Port blockaded, Cartagena. Where's my battle fleet? Okay, let's bring you out just to auto-resolve these actions because they're only, yeah, best case. But worst case, there's a, some fourth-rate ships of the line in there. I'm not bothered about that. We did lose a single one. That's another fleet. Nice. Oh, didn't lose a single ship and our fleet continues to expand to ever greater heights. So get you guys into port. Send these two fifths up to Toronto. So you men replenish. Malta, everything's still growing. Okay, right, we've got to do, got to do it. It's a bit of the boring part. Or I'm just going to be dumping money into my economy. But i got to do it. Got to do it. Especially because it, works. it means we can kind of... Once you've done it, you don't ever have to do it again. It's all upgraded. It's all fine. Commercial basin. Yeah, we've got that. Got that. Steam-powered cloth mills in Galway. Steam engine factories in Cork. So you want to grade you to a church school. Let's get our military production a bit higher in Ceylon. Get our government capacity up in Florida. One of our armies has stopped moving. Well, that's not a huge deal because we can actually use this army 
to attack Kunda. And take it from Spain. See you in Bark in Pensacola. And then you can land off of Kunda. We can't attack it off the back because we don't have the movement. So we've landed. Now it's up to them to attack us. We're going to blockade it just because that seems quite thematic. Let's move one of our sloops over to Pensacola. In terms of spending, Mexico's got some government buildings that can be upgraded, but I want to try and Let's work my way down the coast. <laughs> they all being blockaded as well, in which case I'm not going to upgrade your port. Ooh, some of my mining complexes aren't done. There's a whole load of industry down here that hasn't been upgraded. Gold mines. Steampunk gold mines. Well, just a second. And I'm back. Right. So I expect they will attack us at Punda. Everyone else continue to advance up towards Philadelphia. Excellent. Could do some recruiting, but I don't really want to. Yeah, let's keep on converting. Awesome. Yeah, England's got a bit of a reinforcement garrison. Because this is England's garrison here that's been deployed. It should probably... Okay, I can definitely, re definitely continue to uh, reinforce my army. You men got it. someone got in your way, didn't they? Getting some good visibility on Russian forces in the area, though. Especially a very good general here, Boris Shalimov. And some interesting units in his army, but that will not be enough to save him. Election results. Okay, let's go check those out. The only one we want to change is the Minister for the Americas. From a three star to a four star, so at least we provide some, we get some bonuses. That means we're up to 115,000 next turn. That's pretty tasty. Uh, yes, we're still building up another slab sided killer fleet. We do need to take Tangier in due course. Uh, Morocco. Yeah, protector of the Dutch. We're not at war with the Dutch yet, so if they want to go kick off, then we then we'll make them kick it off. I mean, uh, yeah, I suppose I should fight it. It's their last city. Come on, Red Thunder, let's take you down. And then that will be the end of the Pueblo Nations. Well, they've secured another territory. Then this army plus the garrison at Texas can advance up towards the Plains Nations because I take no chances. <laughs> take no chances against the Plains Nations peoples. They Native American troops can be very dangerous. The only reason why these guys aren't quite so dangerous is because they are... We outnumber them significantly and a lot of their troops are their equivalent of garrison troops. Split the cab up. Militia and skirmishers stay back. Infantry needs to. Actually, you guys. Advance over to the left. Everyone else. Push the right and stay. be a bit thicker. New men that have pushed back are going to go over here on the left. Interesting that they're pulling back from us. I wanted to get a good flank on, but I think the problem is, is it's going to be... Well, I assumed they would get to us before we get into position. So, actually, if they're going to let us, then I am going to elect to utilise more of my firepower. 
And I hear them. She cavalry charge forward into the bowmen. Yeah, you're not going to get many volleys off, but it'll be. A, you're going to get some volleys off. Think of a chief's bodyguard, push her around. Okay, pull the cavalry out. The initial wave has been blunted. Bollock bought us some time. Their cavalry's. Oh no, it's not their cavalry, it's just a load of infantry. You get the musketeers, you men. Don't do anything, just. Push. Oh, gee. Okay. So it's very, very popular at the minute to make me play the Native American peoples, but look at that. Jesus Christ. That. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. You know, I'm coming back. Artillery engage the warriors. Let's get you guys committed then, cavalry. Yeah, they are slowly coming back. Shattered, shattered, just broken. Okay, everyone that's just broken, cavalry needs to mow down. You might have to smash into the tribesmen itself. The armed tribesmen are their version of militia. They may be slightly better in melee combat than more than traditional European um, militia, but still militia. Shattered. Jesus. Are going to. Oh, someone is still here. Ah, oh, the musket men. Yeah, they're there. They're very much done for. Give every cavalry unit a target, including the general. And let's get slaughtering. I know that's two for the same one there. Yeah, may as well do it, get some experience. It's a lot of infantry here that we can we can take down. Two infantrymen here. Chomp. There's the general. There he is. I mean he's probably not he's not gonna get well I would like to get one experience chevron. I want to get one from them. Oh no, there we go, he has got one. Nice. So everyone got this last unit of prizemen. Charge. Charge! They should be doing okay on the pathfinding front because there's lots of them. I suppose they've lost about 30 odds since they started, so maybe they were spread out. Ah, then they must have escaped. Ah, well, either way, that is the garrison of Santa Fe taken. Oh, no, the army landed in Cartagena. I mean, the Ottomans are just stuck in a bit of a holding pattern. You know what, I think I do want to deploy more armies into Europe and bash the Russians back. Retake Berlin, drive north, uh, drive east. I think that'd be pretty neat. So come the Russians. They've reformed another army. 
they're going to be limited in how far quick, how far they can push westward. Otherwise, they're going to, they're going to get absolutely uh, chipped away by Prussian rebels. And is Sweden about to just move entire armies around one unit at a time? I think it may they may well be about to. <laughs> oh well, could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Right, they're gonna go after my fifths. Yeah, damn Georgia. Saxon rebels. Yes. Saxony! Okay, we've abolished slavery. I hope you'll realise what we've done, Georgia. Or you come and attack our fleets. Just take him out. Two can play in that game. Okay, so at Malta we're going to recruit... Anros flagship third rate, two third rates, four fourths, and let's get a rocket ship. Why not? Nation destroyed. The Pueblo nations. Excellent. One of our agents has got inside another city. Upgrade the magistrate. Replenish the troops. Mm -mm. Cotton or tobacco. Cotton's what we, what we produce less of, and it's worth more, so there's probably a link there, but we're going to ignore it. Carry on flooding the market. Fleet destroyed. Yeah, those are those fifth rates. Public servant dies. Is this one of my good ones? A justice minister. You swap with someone who's just equally... It's terrible. So New Mexico is captured by our troops. That's great. A new nation arises. Saxony. I want you to be my friend, Saxony. We're going to ally. I'm going to give you some basics to fight the war. And I'm going to offer you... I mean, this is going to be way over the odds, but I want them to be strong. To face off against Prussia. They're a protectorate of Poland, though. Although there is no Poland, so... Yes! Excellent. So now, he can rebuild their city and build a bit of an army. I'm going to build you into a shipyard. Repair the cloth mill. Let's repair the royal palace because that's going to really start to cause problems if we try and push out. I'm not going to repair the iron workshop because the Russians are just going to raid it. Okay. Description reports. Probably, oh, I can definitely stand to basically get rid of all of you. I don't need any of you here. Place of states, place of states. I mean, I may as well upgrade the theatres. Have a trading company, government chambers, more industry. Let's get some of these plantations up and running. And these farms. Although that's all the ones we've just got to. Okay, you keep the ports upgrading because we're going to start. Ooh. Okay. Have you got a letter of demands? So are you going to like sneaky rebel against me? Right, what's the best way to do this? Technically, the best thing is to take you. Embark. I mean, you're you're pretty well equipped as it is. You're going to come back to Lower Louisiana. This sloop is going to move out of the way. Take up the garrison duties of Yorktown. Front 
you're going to keep them probably keep them under control okay i've still got lots of things in the south i can upgrade including a steam powered sugar mill but i want to take mr figuero figuero and attack the city of punda and destroy the last spanish holdout in the americas that'll teach them and soon the continent will be under our complete control then we can focus all our efforts onto america i am going to want to onto america onto europe i am going to want to recruit yeah, an army in the north and an army in the south that is going to be ready to respond to any invasions of from hostile powers that's their sole duty So my guns are going to be up on this slight rise back here. Deploy the troops. We're expecting reinforcements from the right flank. So let's use my militia to hold them off. Now boost them with grenadiers and frontiersmen. Just keep the frontiers them together. Pikemen are up and ready. Skirmish cavalry is up and ready. Light cavalry is up and ready. They're actually coming in behind us. I'm sure they're not going to steamroll steam roll into us. Okay, let's push up my skirmish cavalry. Send a colonial light cavalry on a bit of a thunder run. It's the generals. Where's my pikemen? Yeah, my general's running swords raised because they're going for my frontiersmen. Let's intercept. Now oh, they are going to catch them. But not for long. And there goes the enemy general. My pikemen are wavering because they've been charged by cavalry. And they're getting shot at. Yeah, cavalry. Let's bring the suicide cavalry back. Infantry are going to push the, push the guns. My skirmish cavalry is going to get over to the other flank. There we go. That's the light cavalry being dealt with. Get my pikemen back to safety. Ooh, gunners just bombard the cavalry. Infantry can push this alone. I, mean, I might give them one cavalry unit for support, but everyone else is going to form a new flank and see if we can lure the lure the enemy in. That's more shrapnel shot coming in. Oh, I've got the. Is the yeah. They, I don't think the smoke effects are correct. Again, this this is always a problem when you when you reset when you set Darth one up again. There's always a there's always a period of you know what are the settings like. Have I got them right? Have I got them wrong? They seem to work and they kind of don't. Ugh. Let's 
really push up. I want them to come after us. So we can just hit them with... Hit them with some square formations. The gunners don't want to shoot. Okay, let's... Push the line forward. There we go, you form square. Cavalry. Oh, see, yeah, that's the kind of thing I was hoping would happen. They're charging into my... They're trying to charge into the rear of my... Yeah, they've definitely not got the correct smoke effects going. Oh, there we go. They've been pushed back as well. So, got square is holding. Drawing in lots of enemy cavalry, plus my cavalry. No, no fire at will for you now. Get stuck in. Militia push the push the enemy. Guns, everyone else begin to pivot towards where the enemy are coming from. The buccaneers will likely be obsessed with firing their pistols. Seems to be. Oh, infantry did get a charge off cavalry. them okay, there goes the enemy guns Let me engage the colonial line although maybe I want to pivot you like that you and storm up to point blank range because right now they're in a bit of a defensive pocket Infantry attack the ninth. Like I'm just going to clip the second, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Militia v Buccaneers. I'm probably going to want to boost you with another militia unit. I really, I don't want you pushing in like that. Everyone engage. You try charging after my cavalry. They're like, <laughs> we could engage these guys, but nah. Charge the 14th in to help them out. Excellent. That gives us a whole bunch of firepower. So you men, I want you guys to be blasting them with carbine shot at close range. First Regiment of Marine Grenadiers. You've been shattered. Everyone else is. Ah, so they came back. Pull out the infantry once the. Spanish infantry here are gone. We will destroy them. There goes the buccaneers. Let's take you as well. Where are they going? They're going to secure that house, are they? General's left all the way at the back. Charge more infantry in against the 2nd Regiment of Foot. Okay, no, they're just trying to flank the uh, 
playing for fight. There we go. So who's left? Colonial infantry, buccaneers. I mean, they're not going to be around for very long, surely. Mounted auxiliary are picking him, picking men off very handily. They're gone. I don't really need to move you. The Buccaneers are going to be engaged with the 13th Regiment anyway. Well, it looks like that's probably going to be the last of them. They were never going to hold... Now it's all down to one unit of buccaneers. Molly! Yeah, I need out of this battle. I need to uh, pop out and look at my Darth Mod settings again. Right. Push forward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed this up. <laughs> it's only a unit of buccaneers, they're gonna break fairly quickly. There they go. Nice. So, is there anyone that. Oh, god damn it. Move my guns away. Okay, yeah, definitely going to stay sped up for this one. Can my general kill them himself? Let's bring all of my cavalry over. Let's bring a load of infantry over. The infantry... Ah, oh, just the infantry in. Not going to stand for their nonsense. Try to get around the flank. I'm not going to put up with their mess. Chop. <laughs> I mean, oh, for God, for God's sake, there's another one over there. All right. Push, push, push. Slowly run and then slowly walk around there. Then we're going to. You must have been chasing someone. charge in with all the glory you can muster these pirate dogs there's another one oh god why oh. they're only moving them one at a time because they don't want to fight they don't want to commit so they're just sending as soon as there's, there's no there's no men on the field who can fight they have to reveal one no my general died a stupid buccaneers then you can all die. <laughs> ah. Bit of a kick in the knackers losing the general because he was actually one we've had for a while. But there we go. Oh, God. Right, so the army. Let's get a native man as a general. Oh. Roberto Salazar. You men can replenish, and I'm going to quickly hop out, check my settings, and then come back. So see you in a second. Okay, that should have fixed it. So we've got a thousand left. Let's demolish the military governor's barracks. You guys are replenishing. We can build a sloop to protect the port. Nice. Okay, I think we need to end the turn here. And I mean, I know you've been going down the diamond formation route, but I should really make you go on to light infantry, do light infantry doctrine and push you down the military track to get some Cazador. They'd be pretty D sweet. Shrapnel shot would also be nice. But for now. Fire in advance isn't, isn't massively necessary, but it's a plus one to training level for infantry units. 
That's very nice. So let's see it in turn. Let's see how things develop. Again, we haven't managed to deploy our army from Cartagena yet into Crimea. Aha! Uh -huh, Spanish ship! A Spanish galleon! Nope. You got all... You got three bars of experience for that. Holy Jesus. No. You've lost your colony. You've only got those areas in the Mediterranean. We are not going to make peace unless you bend over backwards to give it to me. And it looks like Sweden's continuing on its its uh, planned desire to move all of its infantry around one at a time. Yeah, I would like to take Copenhagen. That would be very valuable in our war against Russia. Peace with Courland? No. I don't want your your fleet, such as it is, to break out into the Atlantic. Excellent. I mean, we do have a reasonable fleet here. Okay. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. How goes your ability to leave? Terrible. Keep recruiting, plus probably recruits um, Colonial Dragoons from Mexico to act to the garrison. I may as well get one turn's worth, because they can definitely move. Yeah, you've started recruiting a African army, which is pretty neat. Texas farmland. Texas Rose, we did get. Top, 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 top. Ordnance board in Philadelphia. Engineer school. Global trading company. We're getting so many top tier buildings. It's. Pretty awesome, because eventually we're going to reach a point where we have the entire, the entire continent is maxed out. There we go. Great state. Port, steam engine factories, global trading companies, power cloth mills. Okay, so we do need to drop some money on some of these territories in Central and South America. Excellent. So much growth. It's pretty awesome. Steam dried up. Water power cloth mill. There we go, rebuilding the territory we've just conquered. Caracas can get an army board, because we're going to want to see a new army built here anyway. Awesome. I think we haven't really achieved much this turn, but we can start to... Okay, let's recruit some ships to start transporting some of our troops across. So I think both of these... You're okay. You need replenishment, but you're okay. You do not need these militiamen. So I'm going to beef you up a bit. But let's hit enter. No, they're pulling the, they're pulling their ships back to the homeland. The fools. The blind fools. They're coming at us. Oh, they're not. They haven't attacked us yet. I suppose I better push up another army to give them support. Yeah. 
I mean, it would be handy, Sweden, if you would just decide if you were going to win or lose against the Russians. Because then at least we could maybe take Skanderweja. But at least the Russian fleet is bottled up. They won't, and they won't uh, be able to recruit ships to interfere with the global trading system until some of the northern ports are open. I want to see Saxony grow into a mighty empire. Catholic missionary in Spain. To be honest, I think we are Catholicizing most of the continent pretty well. Let's get you over to Tunis. Steamship. Excellent. We recruited the first steamships. New town emerges. Dover in Pennsylvania. Okay, so you need I want to get you two howitzer units. I've got three units to spare. Let's get a native African native warrior unit plus I've got marines. Two marines. Five units. Five spaces. Great. You need to replenish. Let's hop over to Europe. Our army's fully replenished just before the Russians got to us. Excellent. So you will begin to build up a, another force. We've got two marines. Let's get two engineers plus a foot artillery. Ooh, heavy horse guard artillery plus we can recruit seven units. Heavy horse guard howitzers plus a regular howitzer. Plus you've got skirmishers, you've got two units of cavalry. Get a horse grenadier guard. I think that's it. Then you're up and up at max. Max level, then you are going to get another heavy horse guard artillery unit, heavy horse howitzer unit, 24 pounder plus 24 pounder howitzer. A marine line infantry guard unit, a fusilier unit, and an engineer unit, and you're going to get. Have you got skirmishes? Nope. So we're about to run on a Mikele. Some guerrilla mercenaries. Cool. Palatial estates, the weaver's cottage. I mean, it's going to be. It's going to be expensive, but it's going to be glorious. We lose weaver's cottage. Greed. Sinking so much gold into our empire, but my god, it's going to be worth it. You may make your way north to Texas. Cotton plantation we got. Keep the shipyard in Hanover upgrading. Lots of top tier stuff. I think we're getting really close, really close to not having many things to upgrade at all. Some of these global trading companies will suck the money out of us. Okay, so then at Caracas, start the recruitment of a garrison force. 
I'm sure you can probably leave, Wunder. So you were going to get aboard, and then you are going to sail up to Philadelphia to be re-equipped. Re-equipped with howitzers and heavy cavalry and lots of other good stuff. Because you don't need these militia, even though they are, they are exceptionally well trained. Because you need artillery. A unit of household cavalry. A unit of cuirassier. I think that's going to be that's it. But it's a, it's a really good enhancement there. So the squadron's going to wait. Wait for them to be shipped back across the sea. Fire in advance has been researched, and you've gone on to diamond formation, and you don't, you're not going to. I suppose I may as well make Salamanca do it because you're low level. Or do I go for improved coppering? Reduces my upkeep, increases my recruitment cost, but I can handle that. Recruitment port, lots of good recruitment. So you men are being recruited to raid Toronto. Let's keep away the keep away the uh, Georgians, but let us not forget. Actually, you can deploy all of these fellas. Board my two fourths. So you'll land at this port and then run. Actually, what I want to do, really. Hold. Hold. Is the way clear, first and foremost. Largely clear. There's a Russian fleet in port, but that's okay. That's where we're landing somewhere else and then attacking it from the north. There's no garrison. Demand the surrender. They've accepted the surrender. Chase this fleet out. Just, yeah, just gonna destroy it with my fleet. Put you men into Sebastopol. For repairs. Now the city is ours. Sublime Porte. Question is, do I just demolish it and start with a good western one? Get the infrastructure going. Good. Is this a Dessa? It is a Dessa. Johann Richter. Yeah, I bet you're not happy about that. But I'll take it. There we go. You may occupy Valletta. Although, strictly speaking, it should be... A militia unit occupying a military port. Cool. I want to see if they attack us. If they bypass us and just raid, that's okay. I can deal with that. I'm more interested in getting extra... Getting extra economic advantage. But this 4th rate fleet doesn't really have a purpose at the minute. Okay. Hey, Mysore, let's trade. Trade, and I can give you. Do you want improved grenades? Damage blast. Damage blast. Uh, no. Well, the Ottomans are landing in Rome again. They've tried it before, but it hasn't worked. They've laid siege to us in Hanover, so we will be sallying. We are at full strength. We may be slightly depleted now, but they are likely... More depleted than we are.
Sweden's continuing to wander around. You must choose what you want to do, Sweden. Do you want to protect your holdings in Copenhagen? Or do you want to push against the Russian? You must pick. Oh well. <laughs> so ends the, so ends the, uh, the Swedish turn. Fallen. No, I don't want them to be... No, no, not interested. So I wish this is where you got more uh, options to do your diplomacy, because I would like. Wow, you're trying to kill my agent. Just because you're now 100% Catholic with high amounts of religious unrest. Catholic Tangier. New port emerges, so I can see who it is. Crew sloop. So if you men go into here, you chaps to leave. You men hop in. Yeah, really happy. Okay, push on up to the boundaries of Black Hills. Keep on pushing. Let's have a look at who's there. Now we're not converting them, but we've got eyes on. So Navo, yeah, we did. You just need to replenish. Everyone is recruiting, so that's okay. See, long we need to keep upgrading massively because when the war in India starts, it's going to be really important. There we go, go to the chambers. Excellent. Cherokee rebels. That's not fair. Didn't realize you hated us that much. I mean, so do we get any garrison? I mean, it doesn't look really like we get any garrison. Not ideal. But it is a bunch of artillery, so... I can try... I, can, I am going to fight them. Because they very, very handily deployed as an artillery battery. <laughs> rather than any sort of infantry. So I don't have to rely on moving an entire army to destroy them, I can move a load of cavalry and mob them. And then hopefully once I kill them, then enemy uh, the uh, Cherokee's unrest should go down. And then we're okay. Swarm! Run! Let fly! Everyone pick a different gun team. <laughs> this is like the best rebellion I could have hoped for. More to the point, you just keep make sure they all die. Kill them all. Oh, don't want to end it. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's heroic. We lost one cavalryman. A dragoon died. But still, hopefully... There we go. Usually when a rebellion is defeated, they kind of pick themselves up a bit. You can go back to Louisiana. Slon, slon, slon. Coffee warehouse up Louisiana. Wonder gets this. Okay. Right, I'm going to build... Defences around Caracas. Let's... 
get some extra bits and bobs to help defend the city. Otherwise, though, we might have cracked, or largely have cracked my pathological need to upgrade everything we possibly can. I must remember, one of you guys needs to go get the Inuit. Okay. Agent detected. Dude, that's the Moroccan guy trying to kill my agent. The swine. I'm sure this heavy first rate, you've, you, you deserve the role of admiral. So let's get some second rates. Lots of recruitment. City besieged at Hanover. That could be Will Sally. And we've taken just a teensy bit of attrition to a couple of units. Rebellion in the Cherokee. Not anymore. Lots of successful missions. Excellent. Uh, see if I can get this upgraded to a church school. Sure, I grade you to a trade port because you're there. But the idea is I can want to start converting this region to Catholicism and also spread agents out to places like Cherkask. Naba we're dealing with. Okay, let's keep standing up a North African force. Something like that. Militia, hold your marsha slot. Can you now leave? Minus three. Soon. Very soon. Um, but looking at the timer, I think I'm probably... Actually, well, well, I'm probably before I end the episode. Mateus Pinto is going to sally out to attack the Russians attacking Hanover. So we end this episode right where we started, fighting out, fighting out Hanover. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.